and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating Modo's new Mesh Stack Evaluation features. Sometimes, when working in a heavy scene with lots of geometry, operations or animations, calculations can take a while and your whole workflow can grind to a halt. In Modo 15.1, these calculations and processes can now be put off so you can keep modifying your geo, mesh ops or animations no matter how heavy the scene. Within the evaluations workflow, you are also now able to defer how normals are smooth during interactions and animation, as well as now being able to swap high poly meshes with low poly stand-ins to make animation and deformation quicker and easier. When working procedurally, you can now do two kinds of evaluations in Modo, deferred and paused. Both can be enabled globally by pressing the buttons at the top of the mesh ops window. The leftmost button is the Pause Evaluations button, while the one next to it is the Defer Evaluations button. Deferred Evaluation can also be enabled on a mesh by mesh basis by enabling it in the Mesh Items properties. There are four settings for Deferred Evaluation. Default, Never, Custom and Always. Default means that the global controls determine whether the evaluation on the mesh is deferred or paused. Never means that the evaluations of the mesh are never deferred or paused even when the global options are enabled. Custom allows you to defer evaluations during interactions, playback or both. And always means that the evaluation of your mesh will be deferred until the option is changed. Now that we have an idea as to how to enable evaluations, let's go over the differences between paused and deferred evaluations and why they're useful. The first type of evaluation that I'm going to go over is deferred. A deferred evaluation means that no changes will be visible in the viewport until I release my mouse button. So, for example, this model was built using curved booleans and has a high poly count, so the mesh is very dense. If I decide that I want to move any of my driver curves, like the F or the circle, I'm going to have a bit of a hard time. The higher the poly count, the longer the operation takes to calculate, so the laggier the operation appears to be. However, if I enable deferred evaluation, I'm able to move the F about without waiting for it to update in real time. The position of the curve and how it interacts with other operations will only be updated once I let go of my left mouse button. So long as I'm holding down the left mouse button, I'm able to smoothly adjust my mesh as much as I want without having to wait around. Deferred evaluation allows me to make edits to heavy meshes without needing to wait for a live update every time I move my mouse or haul a parameter. This allows for a speedier workflow in heavier scenes. The second type of evaluation that I want to show off is paused. If I enable paused evaluations, all deformers and mesh ops will not update until I unpause. Why would I use this though? Well, take this shoe as an example. It's a very high poly model with lots of detail. If I apply a bend effector to it, every time I want to make the smallest update to how my shoe is bending or where I want the bend applied, I'm left waiting. However, if I press pause, I can now move my bend effector, change the angle or length and change the axis without having to wait between each edit while Modo calculates how thousands of polys need to be moved. Once I decide that my bend is in the right place or it's at the angle that I want, I can press the pause evaluation button to disable it and all my edits will be applied. Pausing your evaluations is really helpful for making multiple edits to a dense mesh quickly and easily without having to wait for edits to be calculated as you work. You can also use deferred evaluations when interacting with mesh normals. There are two types of deferrals you can enable when smoothing the normals of a mesh. The first is to defer on interaction. This means that whenever you move or interact with your mesh in the viewport, the smoothing is dropped to speed up performance. This can be enabled by going to System, Preferences, and then enabling Defer Smoothing on Interaction, available under the Mesh Data Evaluation tab in the Defaults menu. The second type is to defer while playing an animation. Allowing evaluations to be deferred while animation playback is in progress allows for faster playback while viewing deformed meshes, similarly to deferring during an interaction. 
Smoothing during animation playback is enabled by default, but can be disabled by unchecking the Compute Smoothing During Playback option under the Mesh Data Evaluation tab of the Preferences window. Using evaluations, we can also use low poly meshes as stand-ins for high poly meshes. Stand-ins are especially useful for things like animation or deformations, as any deformers applied to the low poly stand-in will also be applied to the high poly when I'm ready for Modo to process edits. This comes in handy for situations like animations or simulations, where you may end up with really heavy scenes that could cause a strain on your hardware or have long calculation times. To assign a stand-in mesh, change the deferred evaluation type in your mesh items property of the high poly mesh from default to custom. Once changed, you can assign a stand-in mesh from the drop-down. Once the stand-in is enabled, you can edit any operations belonging to your high-res mesh. As you edit the operations, you'll see your high-res mesh be replaced with a stand-in mesh. Just like with deferred evaluations, the stand-in mesh will only be visible until you release your mouse button, at which point your high-res mesh will become visible again. However, in some cases, you might find that your low-poly stand-in becomes visible, but doesn't deform in the same way that your high-poly does. To fix this, open the schematic viewport by pressing the schematic viewport button, and then drag the mesh up causing the deformation and your low-poly mesh into the schematic viewport. Once in the viewport, draw a link between your mesh and your deformer. Once that's done, you can close the schematic viewport. This allows you to see how your deformer interacts with your high poly mesh, while still using a stand-in to improve performance. As you can see, the new evaluation settings in Modo 15.1 are really invaluable when it comes to speeding up workflows and improving how you interact with heavy scenes. For more information on mesh stack evaluation features, Modo, or any of the tools that I've used in this video, check out learn.foundry.com forward slash Modo. This has been an introduction to Modo's new mesh stack evaluation features. Thank you for watching.